Oh yeah, no, God, no, no, no. Hello everyone, my name is Stonesy Boy, and welcome back to looking at parted hair of K-pop. Welcome back to watching Asian Jake Paul. Welcome back to finger licking good Colonel. I love you, Colonel Sanders. I forgot the name, but you know. We're almost done with this game. We could possibly be done with this game today, which would be very sad because... Because I really like this game. Sorry, music stopped, so I stopped. Um, I like this game a lot, considering it's Colonel Sanders. But, uh, you know what? I got other dating games I got I can play. <laughs> I don't really want to play them, but that's fine. Um, that's what we'll dedicate Mondays to. Games about murder, detective work, emotions. Monday emotion. Emotion Monday. That's a great name. Emotion Mondays. Mm-hmm. That's what we name this. Anyways, we gotta get freaking on to the episode. Um, I don't have a timer this episode. I usually have like a 20 minute timer. So I'm gonna use my charging almost dead phone for my normally 20 minute timers, but today I'll make it 18. Okay. I have an alarm set. For a couple minutes. Shit. Okay, whatever. Um, Miriam, my best friend, said, Where have you been? Where have you been? Uh, let's explain this to her. I. Because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you, but so I can find you. I got worried that something had happened to you. It's okay. I was just. But now it seems like you're fine. I can finally get you to speed on the saga of Miriam. Sure, but. You did not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date! With the robot? I think I can believe that. Since I've been partnered up with Clank, he asked me to go out with him. You're fucking a robot? Excuse me? Miriam! Miriam! Okay. Of course I told him. Of course I told him! You better keep your dad's turn to polite and respectful, and I'm not that- I'm not that kind of girl. But he's just so interesting spending time to know him one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yes, sure, I can get to know my little metallic guy. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friend. How the fuck does a robot go skydiving? That shit would go... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Skydiving with your friends, but things quickly spiraled out of control. Did you just say skydiving as a typical first date to go and talk into a pressure cooker? Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm not really sure where we stand. You don't give Miriam time to tell her the whole story, however. Bottling up the details of your own night is too much to bear. And I went on a date too, bitch! Back to Colonel Sanders' house, where I spent the night with him. You what?! You fucked my teacher?! No! He's not even our teacher, he's a fellow student! Nothing happened! With the, but the emotional connection. Wowzers! Miriam tells you to move on from this whole Colonel Sanders obsession and focus on school. Bitch! I... That hunk of meat right there? Better show him editing me. That hunk of meat right there. And then show an actual hunk of meat. That hunk of meat. Me not thinking about that hunk of junk in trunk that I would like to funk on a Friday night. Or well, technically Monday afternoon. Excuse me, bitch. I'm not the one having sexual relations with a skydiving tin can. B -b -b bitch. Being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong. You know what? I want to be, to be right. After a short argument, you both agree to go your separate ways. Damn. What's good, JoJo's reference? I forgot you, Van Dam. Van Van. When you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance. Oh, sorry. I, I almost did Pop's voice. Picking on Pop. Though he himself might not grasp that fact. <laughs> because, you know, he's Pop. What's this, Whirly? It sounds delicious. Oh, it's great. I'll order you up one right away. I'll have a swirl of your sprinkle tweets. <laughs> sprinkle is a dog and the tweet. Oh, oh, you can't. You can't. You can get your swirly dips too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Mm. Because I'm literally the biggest person at the school. You know what? You know what, Van Van? You're very fucking correct. Our literal teacher's a dog and you're a JoJo character. You're from ja Ha Ha's Bazaar Adventure. Why are you crying? Nice, um, chicken wing, uh, leg highs, by the way. 
There's a horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school, but who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? I don't know. Why would you pick on a horse? It's kind of a dick move. You've got some nerves. Oh, you've got some nerves, Stonesy, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Yeah, me and Van Van know what's up. And you're twisting my words, and I won't have it. <laughs> Cleanse your fist. An injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you wince in pain. Don't you have, like, did you lose fucking fingers from that shit? Doesn't look like you can go on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. Okay. I'll never give up. Ever! Colonel Sanders arrives and just appears at first boiling over. Naturally intuitive person. He senses that something must have been going on. How are you balancing so well on fucking high heels, lady? Anyways, is that- Is everyone- Oh yeah, right. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Stonesy! How's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by- from form by this afternoon. <laughs> Aren't you considering about my hands, Colonel? Or my hands, Colonel? Oh, so, shit, what's her voice? Um... Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Technically, I do not believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing? Complimenting her. But what about the flavor of my delicate warm chocolate sauce? It was uh, clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say. Words to say, it was bland. Excuse me, Stoney. I am more than capable enough to speak for myself. <sighs> Maybe you could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine art of fine foods. See you inside, dick nose. I'm Stoney. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Alicia Lee. <laughs> For who you know she really is, you walk across the quad and get some distance. In an attempt to distract yourself, how slight do you feel in interaction with at least she, Ashley? Um, you take a spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Oh. Whoa! What's that book? It looks like real bad news. It looks like really bad news. It's more. It's something I found lying around. I would appear to be some sort of grimoire, but I really don't believe in magic stuff. A grimoire? I believe. A book of stills? I don't know. Who would spend so much time decorating a magic book if it really were really powerful? Yeah, you know what? I'm killing the timer. I'm finishing this game today. Why not? I can think of one surefire way to find out. Go for the page covered in the arcade words. Cast only a case of extreme emergency. It says around the edges of the page. I could use a spell here. It says erase anyone I choose from all of memories. Wow. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders... It would probably help me focus better on my- No! No! No, 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 no! We love that hunk of meat! We can't erase him! That is way drastic! Couldn't you do something else like anything else not rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a string around your finger? Okay, fine. It is drastic, but desperate types call for desperate measures, damn it! You've got the memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. No, don't do it! Hell no! You take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. No, don't. Sprinkles! Uh, Sprinkles is on the way room, waiting for students to arrive. He clears his voice to make a quick announcement. I want. Oh, you know. I feel something of a dog mama coming in. But I assure you, nothing to be afraid of. His cute little nose scrunches up and behind his breath quickly. He must be hungry. Reach for some old hole work and give it as a snack. Dogs can be unpredictable, especially with sprinkles. Wait to see what happens. He's probably just gonna sneeze. Finger stops in the track. Focuses on the window. The room is deadly silent. Follow his gaze and see a tiny orange squirrel perched on the chair. Finger turns feral and runs through the window of the classroom. He begins barking uncontrollably. A squirrel is out. A wolf! A wolf! Terrence! Although you never come back here, Terrence, I will destroy you, Terrence! Finger is barking ferociously. Jewel flying off his face. The squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything back. You wonder, is that even a talking squirrel? Who named him Terrence? You better not show your jumping chicks around here ever again! After Sprinkles is satisfied with the presence of being felt by not only Terrence, but any other squirrel in hearing distance, he says his professional tone. <laughs> Apologize for the outburst. There's a bunch of brains up in point point. Thank you, Stonesy, for reminding me to dole out an indispensable bit of wisdom. You see? Before he can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills over the class. Sprinkles is interrupted by words and sparks coming from the back of the room. I told you to save it for after class. I want my Robocock. 
You think I want to be thrown out from a plane strapped to a stranger? We don't like you to be arguing. We haven't heard the speak clank's language of mechanical noises. But no, you should show off your cool kid friends, Jeff and Joe and JJ. J and J forever. Watch us form a triangle in midair as we descend. Triangles are strong as shape, don't you know? <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't make it a great day. Yeah, it does. Hell yeah. <laughs> then take Jeff and Joan with you. You can hold hands all you pedal down to the mountain or off a cliff for all I care. <laughs> Clank begins to shudder, seeing pearls of gas as panels, and then a loud ding stops them in his tracks. <laughs> No amount of seasoning is gonna make me want to eat that, Clank. Clank burps out a completely deep-fried sneaker, considering that he himself has wheels, not feet. It's entirely clear where it came from. In terms of deep-fried friend wear, I guess it looks okay. Clank slowly rolls out of room and alone with his shoe. Everyone tries to pretend like they didn't see the entire thing go down. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pall over the final day of school. Damn it, should I put it should I have put her with Pop? Well, that was unfortunate. But we must be distracted from the lies ahead. The final competition jolt down on challenge exam! Trademark. I'm still working on the title, but I think you get it. This time approaches! See you all in the arena! Before we can think about upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Hey Miriam. You okay? Okay, I'm so mad I could smash a dead tiny bug spilling several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. I thought you were gonna say hot cup things of blood, but damn. How could he embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? I don't know. Her tiny cocoa is a delicious treasure. So, you know, it's a breakup is no joke, if, even if the source of frustration is such a silly boy. I know that you know this, but I'm gonna say it out loud. You don't need anyone, you're strong and independent. Me and you, we're gonna cruise through the final test and hit the carpool lane to Success City. Brightens up, imagining a wind rushing through her short bangs, but she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. <laughs> You're not gonna saddle up on Colonel Sanders' stallion and ride off into the sunset without me. Of course not. Well, maybe. Sorta. Of. But I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it, and a branch big enough for the both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. If it's not Pop or Clank or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow, or this whole year, so what? You're a special person who wouldn't settle for the first someone to show a little interest anyhow. You know what, I think if I would have put her and Pop together, what would have literally happened is the same thing. But, um, genuinely just, it'd be like, that wasn't a good first date, and just Miriam would just be a bitch. Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes a tear from her cheeks. I should really review my menu for today. I'm gonna make a very special soup. Blood! Him. And I bet that's Professor Dog is gonna love it up. Are you and Pep Dog and Miriam? You completely missed lunch. But that's okay, because you have better idea how to spend your time before your exam. You decide to head to the arena early to practice a dish. This is it, the location of your final challenge. A test of will, a test of courage, a test of talent. And a chance to beat the pants off a of Van Van, a supposed man man, and his evil er counterpart part, a leash leash. As planned, planned, you begin to run through the quick test test of a recipe you've been working on on Stone ZZ's famous chicken pot pot pie pie. After, after, practicing, practicing, four, four, months, months, making, making, this, this, joke, joke, comes, comes, second, second, nature, nature, two, two, you, you, and, and, you're, you're able, able, two, two, quickly, quickly, stop, stop, this, this, joke, and get, and get a fresh pot pie in the oven. But as soon as you do, do, your cram session is is interrupted by Colonel Colonel Sanders. Stonesy, what the fuck are you talking about? Stonesy, what the fuck are you talking about? Stop saying shit over and over and over. It's not funny. Your content sucks ash. Yeah, I know. I sank plants over there, by the way. Stonesy, anyways, what are you doing here? There's still time for the final exam. Oh, just taking it all in in. I'm too... Big into individualizing, visualizing success. I'm, I'm looking at my station and picturing victory. The pot pie has begun to bake and smells lo slowly filling the space around hmm. you. Visual visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were here cooking something delicious. You should usually happy share your food with anyone who is hungry. But the last time you let Colonel Sanders get in your head, it cost you the cook-off. 
You decided it was time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick to when I'm time goes up behind you. Yep. Okay, okay. He, he said it not me this time. Okay, 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 okay. You got me. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know. My nose can smell a papaya from 400 yards. 453 to be exact. That's an oddly specific distance, but you'd expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. You knew it was pot pie just from the smell? Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie. But an all but a crust. My nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? Haha, <laughs> no, I can smell that you are made. Heaping helping of TLC. But it'll probably start burning any second if you don't fall it out. The moment of truth. Wow! <gasps> It's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I've always loved country cooking, and I could eat this all day. Tears. His tears in his eyes, actually. There's no time left. The final. The final showdown is about to. What a fucking begin. Bingo's laid down in the ground rules. There are no rules. That is, except to cook with everything you got. Step of the cook off of a lifetime. Side the mac and cheese and plus the pot pie you've been practicing. It's just the dishes that'll push you over the edge to victory. Meanwhile, we'll Van Van, the Man Man, and Alish Leash, the Bitch Bitch, are preparing wildly elaborate dishes per their usual top over shelf. Miriam in a giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. He definitely prepared for go big. Well, Girl Santa seems to be harvesting his 11 herbs and spices. But he's trying to find a proof of something perfect as the ritual recipe. Our marked fried chicken. Frenzy of action. All right, ladies and gentlemen. They, them, the like. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. Everyone is calling out, ready to cool with special cooking moves. They prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. I'm saying it was bad as chicken as it levitates through the air. How do you batter a chicken through the air? That, damn. I would love to see that visual. Egg wash. Miriam fiercely injects ingredients in an itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend. Van Van flexes his pectorals as he chops down a sea urchin. A spider is attacking my freaking foot right now in a very attackative way. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. Oh, hell yeah. This is Montgomery Gator. I knew what this bitch looked like. He even has the star. Holy shit. I was like, wait a minute. Why does Van Van look so familiar? Fucking Montgomery Gator. Holy shit. Let's rock and roll. I love, I love his steroid joke. Ashley scoops her pastry off the tray in lightning speed. Shallow personality spectula. Boobies included. Even clicks get it on it. Five dial pressure point. Chicken cooking technique. Wait, when did Clay start learning English? <gasps> it's the singularity as foretold. Oh. It's the singularity as foretold. Damn, nice cleaver with a chain heart. <gasps> we mustn't let it happen. Or the appliance uprising will take us all. self destruct Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out of the back door of the arena. As you frankly bear your dish, you notice Ashley and her spell book out. She's going to make some dark magic to turn the tide. You spout the book on your own. Not the proper music, dude. Book of your own. You're desperate not to see you win another battle. You make an evil opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's most certainly evil magic. This is a real hard decision right here. I say... We, we're not gonna... Colonel Sanders is gonna see her with a spell book and freaking get pissed off at her, right? We're doing this the hard way. Who needs magic when you got passion? Exactly. I'm gonna do it the hard way. Colonel Sanders sees you in the shows in the wind in your own terms and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. Good. I believe in you. I believe in you, Stone Jay. I believe in you, Stone Jay. Miriam knows this too. Aww. And I've always believed in you, Stone Jay, since we were little kids. Because I'm your best friend forever. Your daughter knows that Miriam is at your station cheering for you. Miriam, what about your dish? If you're in cheering, who is cooking? Tiny food, shark cook time. I'm actually already done, so I thought I'd help you. Oh, that's sweet, but you're going to toss a handful of spices directly in your boiling uh -huh. noodles. It's a secret ingredient. However, uh, she doesn't know that you lied to the ingredient is made up. Ah, shit. And the world did she get an eye of Newt from? One pot explodes, seeing Miriam flying backwards, and watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up in a dark cloud that thickens the congrat very eyes. It's his eye, Steve the Spork Monster. Steve, wait, what happened to Borko? You're not gonna battle hit me, are you? We Spork Monsters are many. I think Borko had the day off, but 
you have conjured Steve. And I hate to battle, so I just say you're doing pretty all right. Oh, hey, are you in the middle of cooking competition? I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You crazy kids and your culinary skills are really impress me. Mind if I hang out? Sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? Steve is a sport monster. Is that you are in the Grimoire stash beneath your cooking station? I see what you're up to. Crisscross some magical items and accidentally summoned me, huh? <laughs> yeah, you guessed it, sort of. If you're here, would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salted water? I'd love to. I've always wanted a Top Chef, actually. You know, when I was a little spork pup uh, back in the old country, if your spork ones are whining, I'll tell a very long involved story. You don't know exactly where they may come from, but it seems like you're possibly lonely here. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should watch the stands. I really need to focus on the competition. I understand. It's kind of like some nonsense school that I've fallen asleep during some scare tactics class and when I woke up. Toss a serious stare at Steve and he takes a hint. Never mind. I'll tell you later. Good luck. I've suffered this huge setback. You know what? You've got ever some extra power from deep without and within yourself. Give up and drop out of cold. No, hell no! I can do this. I give I have what it takes. I came here to win. Here it turns in turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through. Why the fuck did this turn into Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> my heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for. Yes, thank you. You are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. You're interrupting my inspiring monologue. Sorry. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have never been prepared. Their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. Begin to levitate off the ground. What the fuck? <laughs> Energy courses through your body. You know, that with this power you can do anything. Except turn back time. Which would be super musical because you, while you were powering up your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and can't be served. But don't worry, dear Stonesy. You may have suffered some setbacks, but it's all not lost. Impress with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that he earned his support. I've been watching you today, and I must say I'm truly impressed. You've been digging on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to the station and stands right beside you. I'm here to help. All you've managed to do is make mac and cheese, and time's almost up. You're gonna need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart. What? A uh, bitch. Colonel Sanders unfolds the delicate white towel and reveals the most delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. And besides, something... And besides, something unexpected combinations have you been surprising effects and surpassed their individual efforts. Are you suggesting we combine forces and form the perfect food union? Time's up, students. Supper, levitating, and such. As time expired, the moment everyone has been waiting for, that was the most intense reading I've ever done. I must now prepare you. Present your dishes. You must now present... Present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall. The class seems incomplete. It seems we're missing some students. Pop, clank. From my screen, you hear the pure and innocent giggle that can only come from one student. <laughs> oh God, I don't like that sentence. <laughs> I'm flying. It sounds like it's coming from the broom closet over there. Mary, would you mind? Inside a closet, you see Pop hanging from a broom hook, an elastic under uh, her pants. Pop, get down from there right now. Let me guess, did Van Van have something to do with it? When someone asked for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? That's a fair point. I thought a wedgie, I thought wedgie was a salad. It looks like Pop Papa's elimin Papa's eliminated from the challenge. Then how he didn't cook anything. <laughs> I can't feel my legs, can I be excused? Sure. You kids and your pranks, I must say it's not the worst prank of in USCAL history, but it's not exactly your book material. Wait a second, pranks, pranks, clank. Where did the pressure cooker roll off to? You waited to hear signature whir beep in the other urban floorway, but there's none. Somehow I must have gone unplugged. Guess, I guess. We'll have to figure that out later. That leaves only four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Guess it's been a long semester. Wow, three whole long, whole days long. But after days of hard work, it's time has come for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. I just want to see if I was recording. I was very scared I didn't. <laughs> Miriam, please step forward. Now, describe your dish. I've made tender udon noodles and savory soup. Aww, that's adorable. 
My word, it's so delicate. It's teeny tiny nut. Naruto makey. I spy a float of an itty bitty roll. Yes, chef. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. Yes, Sprinkles. And then green tea made of baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carry Roy sniffs around the dish, opening his mouth and letting just the tip of his pink dog tongue dip into the bowl. Sublime! When anybody else I can taste. Oh, come on! I'm not... I'm not one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I even have a real cute electric toothbrush for dogs. Fine, I'll draw it all by myself. Flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Sick. Much. It was less than the thimble was worth of soup. A plus! Rarely do I taste a dish that I love poured into it as yours. Here is over George. He gives you a huge hug. Thank you, Stone. Uh, thank you, Stonesy, for helping me believe in myself. I didn't do anything. Man, man, you're up. Now describe your dish. I've made <laughs> uni over smooth egg custard with an axe hone orchid shell topped with cabbie. Didn't you try this once and kill a kid? Did you screw one of my one type of urchin with spines from the second? Co different colored type of urchin. Yes, sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. A bit much, it's kind of my brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkles leans and sniff in the uni, but he can't get his nose close on account of all the spikes. He gets the paw at it irrationally, causing the custard to slosh around. Woof woof! Please be gentle with my cuisine. Grr! And Sprinkles goes all in, tongue first. He can't get past the needles. He reels back as his tongue is poked and prodded. Ouch! My tongue! Professor appears to have an allergic reaction to this thing. I can't eat this! I can't get my tongue! This is bad! Stunning turn of events. Who would have thought serving food in a bowl made of needles would make such a difficult to eat? Dejected, Van Van goes to the gen- go Does not go gentle into the oh, night. Disqualified! Disqualified! For glamour? Don't just this is the last you've heard of me. For forcing, forcing us to endure a swollen tongue for another moment, sprinkles scarcely laps up a bowl of milk. I know, I know, yeah, I'm a dog and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Next student, Ashley, it's time to step up. Now, describe your dish. I'm... No, I, I, I forget. She's a bitch, not a, like, Hawaii girl. I made... Orange Blossom Turkish Delight and a light rose water syrup topped with French marinade and connected by sugar glass. Can I say this? I hate fancy food because of this shit. You paid like $5,000 and you get this. I'd be pissed off. That actually doesn't sound too bad. In indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I must ask that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very fragile and, and meant to be a display piece. Don't eat the food at a cooking school. Got toast in your ears or something, Stonesy? I told you, it's a display piece. Ashley, I must say, it is beautiful. However, it's a cooking competition at a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it. It's an extremely good job cooking it, too. I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to College of Eating School for the hungry. <laughs> I suppose you could smell it if you're absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar pot spiral. If a food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. You are disqualified. Rage overtakes Ashley as she finally going to keep her two-faced routine. You win! Oh, sorry. Um, <clears throat> You wouldn't know a high-end cuisine if it cooked you. And with that, Ashley storms I love her cleaver. I want that shit in real life. With that, Ashley storms off a re- Dedicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by fake eyes that liked by everyone. This isn't the last you heard of me either. Class gets. This class gets much smaller. I'll be teaching myself. You and, you and Carl Santos, the final cook, step up together. Two chefs? What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become. has become something else. Examines it closely. What the fuck is that? Examines it closely, sitting eyeing the bowl. Uh oh. I don't have a good feeling about this. Somewhere in the room, a literal dump roll plays. Just when I thought I've seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this. This. Thing. And completely blew me away. And in, in my 49 dog years of life, I've never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. 
Sprinkles, are you really? Seven? Right? Seven? No, eight, eight. You really eight years old? Good job, Sprinkles. You're very intelligent for an eight-year-old. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. You pass, you pass, and you pass, and you get a pass. Oh, it's, and you get a pass, and you pass, everyone passes. <laughs> everyone gathers around and partakes of the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to be chance in reality by another dimension. You win. Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. Two menu items so present, even Van Van Alicia drawn back to by magic fragrance. Gaze upon the mac and cheese bowl, and they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Frequent declares you to pass. Everyone has passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but come on. How could they be better than this one? Now that school year is complete and everyone is graduating, the students return to the last assignment. Go get their groove on. Okay, tap. Damn, this is pretty. Cafeteria has been completely ridiculed, recreated in order to serve as the site of school's graduation dance. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. Oh, shit! They got a dog is in the house! Ow, ow, ow. I'm never doing that shit again. You know that Sprinkles is a master chef, but you world-renowned turnables? Who's to say you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Van Van will actually tell everyone that committed themselves to... What the fuck? One second. Actually, tell everyone they committed themselves writing the wrongs that they did while they were villains. Damn, Van Van. Love that shirt, dude. I don't like you, Ashley, still. You still show off too much boob. But I love that shirt, Van Van. It's very stupid. Also, they really designed Ashley to have boobs. That's her personality. For a moment, you actually believe them. Now, another haunting. No girls are not a graduation. It's clearly written in the school bylaws. I was never actually a ghost. It was a trick. It was a trick to get you all to finally notice me. Oh, amusing. And now that everyone is together, it's the Spark Monster. He has totally mellowed out. And everyone, the Spark Monster is no more. Here on out, I'd prefer that everyone refer to me as my new name, Party Monster. Soon tries to fit what he said, tried to say, but everyone is too wrapped up in talking to Spork. Sorry. Party monster. Dejected student walks off. Oh, I like I like her outfit. Everything didn't work out for Miriam's romantically, but he found she found the love in her cooking. And she she's gonna do great. A red carpet across the floor of the ballroom. It's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who command such a Oh double ponytails too. It's cute. Pop. He's arrived late to the dance, but apparently for a good reason. All kind of carpet, he's perched up atop a dirty chef's hat. A crown? Welcome back, Pop. I know you're able to complete the final exam, except in your diploma. So we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. Oh, now I get. Oh, so she, so Pop is literally only here because, because, because her his dad is the dean. And we got a new wing in the school. Not to mention the honor of educating the son of the chandler of such and such. Music and the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparking electrical hissing. <gasps> it's Clank who have arrived late to the dance. Now that now that I have graduated, I can reveal my truth. Well, you're still doing the talking thing. I am Clank, and I'm not of this earth. I am actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. What? What? Hmm. I I actually feel like I knew that I knew it this whole time. Damn, Clank! Nice uh, top features, bro. I don't think I ever noticed them. Now that I've learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? I don't know what to say. Besides, no, obviously. I've just begun to learn who I really am, and it isn't the time for me to devote while I figure out who you are, Clay. You're blowing up Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear that she managed to surpass her you in that regard. I understand, kind of. Humans are weird. Portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. Finally. Colonel Sanders. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, I'm so ready for this freaking outfit. Mm, hold on. Oh, gotta get that slick in the hair. Mm. Do I look good? Do I look good? Gotta brush my hair a little bit. Oh, baby. 
I gotta polish my bucket. I'm polishing my bucket real quick. Um, ooh, put on my bucket. Ooh, got my very lazy clothes on. Colonel Sanders arrives. Oh! <laughs> I'm joking. Now, that is a very snazzy outfit in the sense of very lazy. How? How the classmates? No, wait. Uh, howdy, classmates. The first day you met him, okay, prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to give him a bucket of, just to give him a bucket of chicken. It's time for its full meal. I didn't, um, I did not get to be the most famous chicken man in history of chicken man man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. The end? Really? Why does that have a question mark? No, it's not the end. I knew it. Has everyone feast on the delicious chicken dinner? Earl Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Stoney, what are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, just wanting to die. Just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder, might you have told me? The qualities that you expect to find in such a lucky person? Is that my head? I don't know. A spiky, spicy musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Just a name of you. It's truly my lucky day. Would you, would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to. You glide across the dance floor hand in hand with Colonel Sanders. The future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'd be ready to take the day off and I'll be glad to spend it together with you, Stochi. How sweet. We'll work together and play together. Colonel Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together? Well, um, I think this is something I'll just need to do by myself. But who will help you run the restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do so you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? Could it be? Uh, you found love connection, but failed to earn Colonel Sanders' respect as a chef. You live only half of him? Were you able to endure sharing him with his other love? The life of an entrepreneur? I suppose I could roll a pastry at a pastry school. Oh, my dear Stonji, I'm sure you'll find your place eventually. Along the way, you'll ha have me by your side. The end! Oh my. Well. Uh. Hey! Well. So I can say is I love you, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, I hope you guys have a super fantastic, wonderful day. <laughs> that was I love you, Colonel Sanders, a finger looking good dang being simulator. May I pray and hope for more KFC brand or any fast food brand uh, games in these upcoming hateful, hateful months in this world that we live in. And, uh... <laughs> oh, goodness, this game has filled me with joy. Down in my heart. Down in my bucket. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my bucket. Bucket of chicken today. But yeah, seriously. Hope you guys have a super fantastic, wonderful day. I'm... I'm done with this game. Uh, but yeah, have a good rest of your guys' day. Bye-bye. Hope you had fun. Pray for more dating games. Woo!